Aloha! Welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the ThinkTech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. The goal of this show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career, and or business. Master Sergeant Gunnery, Sergeant Martin Trujillo, Operations Chief, Marine Corps Forces Pacific, Hawaii, was our guest on our last show, and his words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services' website, newmanconsultingservices.com, or our landing page, which is danelia.org. Our theme for today is how to be successful in your chosen career. Joining us today in the studio as our honored guest is Cam Napier, Editor-in-Chief of Pacific Business News. Mahalo for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, Thanks for having me on. Great having you on board yeah. here, Cam. Okay. Cam, share with our viewers, if you will, uh, what, is some, what is your role and some of your responsibilities? Sure. Uh, well, as Editor-in-Chief at, at PBN, I oversee all the operations of the newsroom. Mm -hmm. and it's, a, it's a very exciting business oh, because yeah. there's always a lot going on. You yeah. know, PBN is, uh, is online every day. Our emphasis is breaking news on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, our reporters are doing three, four stories a day yeah. on the website. And, and we also send out two email products every day, a morning edition and an afternoon edition mm -hmm. to people who subscribe to those for free. Um, just to keep people apprised of what's happened just now mm -hmm. in, in the business world. And of course, uh, the origins of PBN is as a weekly paper, mm -hmm. a business paper, founded by George Mason a little mm -hmm. over 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it, it's still the heart of the operation, so every Friday a new issue comes out. Well, so. it's the business paper here in Hawaii for sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's, we're, we're avid readers goal. of it too. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, time, is a, time is everything. Yeah. Right? It is. It is. And uh, we, were, we were talking earlier, uh, people read PBN with a certain urgency. Yes, absolutely. You know, they really want to know what's going on in yeah. their industry. They want to know where the opportunities are. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's a huge part of, of PBN's mission mm -hmm. is, uh, is to help make connections between businesses, help mm -hmm. them succeed, mm -hmm. whether it's through business intelligence or, or I even had, I had a great moment once a few weeks back, the leasing agent for a particular property called me to say, hey, you wrote about this one burger joint that might be coming into town from the mainland. Do you have contact information? Because oh. we have space and yeah. we think a burger joint Great. might be perfect. Great. So I thought, oh, wow, we've certainly done our job yeah, today. That's right. We're going to connect these yeah. people and maybe yeah. a burger joint happens yeah. in this one development. Yeah. So what, what led you to Pacific Business News? Uh, well, I've, I've, been, I've been a writer since I was a little kid. I had no idea how that would turn into a job mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> I was in marketing a little bit mm -hmm. after I graduated from UH with an English degree. I was the marketing director at, at Diamond Head Theatre. And uh, I started freelancing around town mm -hmm. for different publications, the Honolulu Weekly, mm -hmm. uh, when that was around, Honolulu Magazine, and, and that, that led to a position at, at Honolulu Magazine. Mm -hmm. I was there for 19 years total, oh. uh, the last eight as editor. Mm -hmm. Then I took a little break, and, uh, and I, I heard that PBN was looking for an editor-in-chief, and I mm -hmm. thought that that would be mm -hmm. uh, new and different, and, mm -hmm. and, and it has been that. You know, mm -hmm. born and raised here, and I've been in media a long time, but when you, when you join a different outlet, yeah. especially one with a focus like PBN, you get to learn your own city all over again. That's so true. Yeah. You have a different reason to call different people and yeah. learn about different things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. When, did you, when did you really know that you wanted to be uh, a writer and an editor? Uh, writer I knew very, very young. It just, uh, it wasn't even a conscious decision. Mm -hmm. uh, my, you know, my mom would read to my younger brother and I, and, and I really took to books. And mm -hmm. you know how it is when you, when you like something you want to start making your own yeah so i wrote no doubt terrible little kid books <laughs> you know about robots or who uh -huh. knows what now uh but you know just started writing stories and for the longest time i thought maybe fiction would be the way to go mm -hmm. uh but uh and and i and i did find through through work that that um uh, having an ability to write and write clearly is an asset no matter what yes, you do. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I was in high school and college, a lot of my jobs around town were, were in the museum world. Mm -hmm. And because I could write, that led to, for example, 
uh, I had a temporary job at the Arizona Memorial on mm. the museum side mm. doing the cataloging of mm. new artifacts because mm. okay. you have to write them very clearly right. and, and in a very specific technical yeah. kind of way. And then I was in the right place at the right time to help with a, a book project. Right. So by the time I graduated from college at UH, I, I actually I had a book, mm -hmm. which was fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, and you know, the marketing at Diamond Head Theater, certainly yeah. that is a, uh, it's a communications yeah. function. So yeah. if you can, and marketing is so much fun, you know, because you can yeah. be very playful with it. That's true. Uh, you want to get people excited about a show. Yeah. You want the communications to match the show in some way so uh -huh. people know what they're getting. Um, yeah. So it was really enjoyable. I, and no matter no matter what people do for business, being able to write is an asset. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because you say that from a very young age you just kind of knew that this yeah. was your path. Yeah. Uh, from a very young age, I just my path was teaching. I just felt the same way. But there are a lot of individuals who who never had you know never really recognised what path they were yeah. to go on. And I think that's where you know, part of this show is about that, that you can, you know, it, it will come to you. You just have to let it come to you. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and right. I think it, it helps uh, to move you towards success because you enjoy yeah. Yeah. what, what you're, you're doing. doing. Yeah. And a uh, few people, well, quite a few people, uh, were fortunate enough to be able to do what they love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your passion in life. We can tell. It is yeah. great when, yes. it, when it lines up. Absolutely, okay. yeah. absolutely. I've, I've always felt so lucky. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. What's your source of inspiration? Well, uh, one of the best things about this line of work is is you get like the magic key mm -hmm. to everything, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so to be nosy and, and curious and call people and mm -hmm. say, hey, I'm with PBN, I'm working on a story. Mm -hmm. We'd like to meet with you or have mm -hmm. you come into the office or get a tour of your factory or, or mm -hmm. whatever. And th they say yes. Mm -hmm. And that's like, because if you're not in this line of work yeah. and you call a business at random and yeah. say, oh, I'd like a tour. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, more likely than not, they might say, yeah, the we're, <laughs> yeah we're, a little, we're a little busy now. Yeah. Uh, but when you're in media, you, you get welcomed in and yeah, you get so to learn true. about things and yeah. meet people. And you know, I've always been fascinated by work. And, mm -hmm. and business and what people do and um, I'm, I'm inspired by people who want to be good at what they do mm -hmm. no, no matter what it is mm -hmm. uh, so I, I learn a little something from everyone we talk to mm -hmm. they, uh, whether it's accounting or manufacturing or medicine law all of it everyone everyone uh, uh, especially if, if you're a newsmaker and you're in PBN, it's because you're doing interesting things. Yeah, that's true. And you're asking so, mm -hmm. the correct questions. Yeah, mm -hmm. we try. We mm -hmm. try. Okay. We, we uh, we want to explain uh, to our readers what it is that's working for a business mm -hmm. yeah. or if they've had a rough spot, you know, how that happened and how mm -hmm. they're dealing with it. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our readers are uh, very, very smart. I think also sometimes they get very specialized mm -hmm. in their industry. Correct. So uh, we, we try to explain a bit uh, when we're covering one specific industry, try to break it down a little bit so that mm -hmm. people in other industries get what the significance is mm -hmm. of, of something going on in that in that first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cam, I know everything isn't just peachy keen. Mm. You know? So I'm going to ask you, you know, what what are your biggest challenges and uh, as an editor in chief, and sure. how do you deal with them? Uh, you know, PBN, we uh, we were talking about uh, the the volume of reporting that goes on. Uh, online on the website, the emails, the print edition. There's also uh, a very lively calendar of events mm -hmm. all year long in yes. the newsroom. Which we enjoy. In that. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I see you there yes, often. We, Thank you we for enjoy. coming. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm working on a cover story right now for next week's paper about Tom Moffat, who we named as the Career Achievement Honoree for Business Leadership Hawaii. Right. That, that event is in November. So I'm, I'm doing shows, some writing. Right? Yeah. He's been a promoter for yeah. uh, since yes. the 50s. Yeah, so a long time. And career achievement, absolutely. Yes. So I, I've chatted with him and some other folks who have worked with him to find out what success looks like in his field. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, again, that's a case where it's like, I don't really know what his job is mm -hmm. every day, all day, until yeah. I talk to him. And our readers might not either. So yeah. it was fascinating to learn how the, the business operates. So, but, but to your question, so the challenge I think with, uh, with a publication like PBN for everyone in the newsroom and in all the departments is the, the volume of, 
of material. So Again. time management yeah. becomes really key because mm -hmm. uh, you, you just, throughout each day, you have to remember where, where today am I going to move the digital side forward? Mm -hmm. Where am I going to move the print side forward? Mm -hmm. Where are we going to move the events forward? Mm -hmm. uh, there's also a social media dimension to mm -hmm. what we do. Um, and how do you so mentally handle all of those different, you know, you've got to handle all that time management. So somehow yeah. mentally you have to without panicking all the time. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I keep the panic in. Yeah, <laughs> inside. You know. Not Can't to show it because you're the editor in chief. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you're going, you're uh, going to the bathroom and scream later, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I go home and play some Xbox and, <laughs> and unwind. That's what I do. Um, well, you know, because because everyone is in the same boat, and this is true in so many businesses. Mm -hmm. I mean, what business isn't that's right stressed with email yeah. and deadlines and 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 exactly. lean staffing. Uh, the, the trust and communication are key. Mm -hmm. I think the, the team at PBN is fantastic. Yeah. And if, if any of us are feeling especially slammed mm -hmm. and we share that yeah. with our colleagues, everyone helps. People help. Yeah. And, and that is the key. So right. the, the relationships and, and communication is essential. Right. If, if you don't tell people, I got eight things happening right now. Yeah. So can this one thing, can we discuss this yeah. in an hour maybe? Yeah. You know, they don't know, and they right. don't know why you're, you're stressed or whatever. Right. So. so it always comes down to a team. I mean, a yeah, team is extremely absolutely. important. We're going to come back to that in just a moment. We're going to take a short break. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We're talking with Cam Napier, Editor-in-Chief of Pacific Business News, regarding our theme today, being successful in your chosen career. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. We'll be back in a minute, so please stay tuned for more Keys to Success. Aloha, everyone. I'm Maria Mera, and I'm here to invite you to my bilingual show, Viva Hawaii on Fintech Hawaii, every other Monday at 3 p.m. We are here to talk about news, issues, and events local and around the world. Join me. Aloha. Hi, I'm Kili'i Akina, president of the Grassroot Institute. I'd love you to join us every week, Mondays at 2 o'clock p.m. for Ehana Kako. Let's work together. We report every week on the good things going on in our state, as well as the better things that can go on in the future. We have guests covering everything from the economy, the government, and society. See you Mondays on Ehana Kako at 2 o'clock p.m. Until then, I'm Kili'i Akina. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Kawi Lucas, host of Hawaii is my mainland every Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. I also have a blog of the same name at kawilucas.com where you can see all of my past shows. Join me this Friday and every Friday at 3 p.m. Aloha. Okay, so Cam. Um, we're, we're welcome back to everybody. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at Think Tech HI if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Cam Napier, Editor-in-Chief of Pacific Business News, regarding our theme today, being successful in your chosen career. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo. John Newman, welcome back. Cam, we're going to talk about a little staff now. You know? Sure. So sure. Uh, how do you uh, handle sensitive writers who question your editing? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's an insightful question. You've been edited. Yeah. <laughs> You've done some editing. I, you know, I started out as a sensitive writer. That's right. <laughs> Uh, and I, you know, I was very, uh, very enthusiastic, uh, uh, and so excited to find a way to make a living yes. writing. And I would turn in drafts that were twice as long. Uh -huh. uh, we were talking earlier that one of the joys of this business is how much you learn about about people and what they do and the story that you're working on. And you feel like you've got to get everything you've learned into the piece. And yeah. you and. And then sometimes you get a little attached to the way you've said mm -hmm. it, if you think you've been clever. Oh, yes. um, so uh, for, for me personally, it was, it was a challenge to get the discipline and the professionalism if it's a thousand word story. I'm wasting everyone's time if mm -hmm. I turn in 1,500 words, mm -hmm. including mine, because right. my editor, John Heckethorn, my mentor, 
would give it back to me and say, well, get 500 words out of it, right. and then I'll take a look. Right. Uh, he'd give feedback, too, to yeah. help me, especially yeah. when I was starting out. Because mm -hmm. like, you've got to identify the important parts of the story. Right. So I know that, uh, that writers come in a wide range of, of mindsets mm -hmm. about, about yes. editing. And, you know, so sometimes uh, uh, it, it, it's necessary to give the reassurance. Yes. Like, like when this is not personal. Though a funny thing about writing, so this is, this is a kind of performance art, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it, it's a little bit of a strange way to make a living because the product is it's your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So you're putting it out there for the whole world to see, mm -hmm. you know, as I, I say jokingly sometimes, this was as smart as I could be today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because it's coming from inside, mm -hmm. It, it is personal, even though it is a job and it is a profession. Right. And, and, and editors and writers, as, as they both mature and, and, and get more professional at it, kind of they learn to separate the emotional side of it mm -hmm. okay. uh, and, and just be practical about it. That, mm -hmm. that <coughs> to my mind, it's a, it's a craft right. more than an art, though you, you can be right. very creative in, in expression. And so if you approach it that way, that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just here to help you shape this and improve it. And especially, uh, you know, to make sure that what the writer meant to accomplish is, is actually getting done. Yeah. Right. So uh, ideally, I'm not telling them how to write the story. Right. I'm telling them, okay, when I read it, I got this out of it. Mm -hmm. Is that what you meant? Right. And if they say, yes, that's, then okay, we're good. If they right. say, well, no, actually, I was trying to say this other thing, right. then I can coach on, all right, well, how, what can we do with, with this piece to get right. it there? Well, okay. communication's now, always the key. Yeah. Now, we talk about the sensitivity. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, writing that subpar. How would you handle that? Oh, well, you know, generally, we, we've, got, we've got pretty good folks. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, you know, where, where that does happen, uh, I just I'll speak in, in the larger term throughout out my career. Um, you, you just have to, like any kind of management of any mm -hmm. kind of work, mm -hmm. then that all boils down to clear expectations. That's correct. And, and that's what we want And setting some understand. boundaries. Yeah. Like, okay. you know, whether people are reporting to you and they're in sales yeah. or they're writing for you mm -hmm. or they're processing paperwork or whatever, yeah. they've got to understand this is what the company needs from you. Right. This is what we've given you to make it possible. Yeah. And, and so if there's some gap where that's not coming back to yeah. us, we got to talk about why that is. Yeah. Okay. Is it, do you have too much on your plate? Mm -hmm. Is there some training that you need? Uh, do you want me to tag along on some interviews yes. to help you take material from the interview and, and mm -hmm. get it into the text in a, in a different way? Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, like any profession, it, okay. it gets to those core yeah. managerial. Good, because that's what we stuff. wanted our audience yeah, to, to get. We have to run that's the gamut right. here. Exactly. Okay. exactly. So what what do you most attribute to your success? Um, oh, that's a hard one. Uh, a, a, a lot of luck. I have been very lucky in my life. And you know what uh, luck is, right? Yeah. Preparation meets opportunity. <laughs> well, one one reason I, I I chose this as a profession was uh, writing does come naturally to me. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, why would I struggle to learn something I'm no good at yeah. when I could try to find a way to make money doing something I am good at? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so in addition to do what you love, there's also, I think, a lot of people would find more success and happiness in life mm -hmm. if they identified what they were good at yes. and then found the, the job that matched that. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, so I guess that, yes. and, and, good uh, advice. And, and, and I've had really good uh, mentors and, yeah. and friends along the way. Yeah, okay. that's critical as well. And what, yeah. do you, what do you like most about being an editor-in-chief? I like uh, being involved in, in all the aspects of what the newsroom is doing. When you're a writer, you're in your track, mm -hmm. right? Okay. You're the beat that you cover uh, and as editor-in-chief. Like one one thing is the newsroom and the sales side are very separate. They don't really influence each other at all. But where where there are conversations, so my boss is the publisher, Tammy Menzel. So I, I get to be involved a little bit on the business side of mm. PBN in okay. terms of knowing where we're going and and how things are are going. Mm -hmm. There's the event side, um, 
and, and so yeah, just to be involved in all the aspects of mm -hmm. what the newsroom is doing is, is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. and, okay. and I'm enjoying that I still also write. And I think that helps when it comes to managing writers. Mm -hmm. Yes. When, when the editor is also still write, uh, writing and reporting, yes. then they're demonstrating like, hey, I'm in the same boat. I, uh. I do what you do. So I understand what's hard about it, what's easy about yeah. it, what the challenges are. Well, and I think that as you grow in your career, I've found, we've, we found too with what we do, you know, when we started having employees and so forth, you start understanding actually how much you know that all the experience you've had over yeah. the years, because you take it for granted, you know, until yeah. you're actually teaching somebody else and you go, wow, I do know this stuff, right, you know. Right. And so that, that's really, um, I think that's a real joy. Yeah, of absolutely. Growing in your career, right. what what are some of your life lessons in your career that you've had in your career? Use verbs. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to explain what a verb is. <laughs> They're the action words. The action You know words. where where people go wrong, and in all kinds of business, business writing, can get people down this wrong track so mm. easily because you want to try to sound so formal. Right. You know, but really, just use verbs. Mm -hmm. Have have you know, people doing things mm -hmm. in your sentences, mm -hmm. and, and you'll be clearer. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's a little bit of a joking answer, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. but, uh, um, yeah, nur nurture connections, yeah. mm -hmm. that's a key lesson. Yeah, so networking is Networking important. is yep. very important, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, uh, and just keep learning. Mm -hmm. You gotta always keep learning, mm -hmm. keep practicing. Yeah. And, well, you know, uh, the, the name of our show is Keys to success, right. and what we try and do is give our viewers and listeners uh, uh, ways to become successful. And we have a signature question that we ask okay. each one of our guests, and it's your time. Wow! <laughs> so, Cam, what are your three top success habits? Three top success habits: um, discipline. Though I'm not always as disciplined as I'd like to be, writers mm -hmm. are procrastinators by nature. <laughs> <laughs> But I aim to have it at the top of the list every okay. day. Um, uh, communication. Okay. Uh, and and preparation. Okay. Prep so even even a, an experience like this, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when you things come your way. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, preparation is key. As I moved in my career more into an editor role, mm -hmm. which often means being the public face mm -hmm. of, of a publication, and so more opportunities like this mm -hmm. to be in front of an audience. Yeah. Um, which, when I was younger, I, I would have found terrifying. Yes, yeah. Um, but preparation is, is the key. key. Whether it's a meeting, a talk to a community group, yeah. uh, a, a television experience like this, yeah. uh, do some prep work and you will feel so much better going yes, into yeah, it so and, and do so much better at it. And I think that's universal for yeah. so many jobs is to yeah. prepare. Uh, uh, discipline, uh, the top one, that, that's, that's been essential at, at PBN because of the time management aspect I was mm -hmm. talking about. Of, uh, you, you have to kind of keep track of your calendar and your hours mm -hmm. uh, and to know, like, am I, am, I, am I devoting enough time to yes. these different functions? Right. Um, and, you know, whatever tools come naturally to people, I, I recommend they find something that mm -hmm. works as a system mm -hmm. to help remember the most important thing mm -hmm. they were supposed to do. Yes. I use my email inbox for that purpose. I don't know if that's the best <laughs> strategy. <laughs> if you've got suggestions, I'm open <laughs> to hearing them. Uh, I put the red exclamation mark yeah. next to things, yeah. the email about today, yes. and the red exclamation mark. Okay, and in the morning, I look for those and go, oh my goodness, there's that thing. I got to do that. Right. Well, uh, we have a caller on the line. Oh, my. Oh. Yes. I, I'm an outside caller, and I have a question for Ken. Right. Uh, uh, he he won't I, be able to hear this, but you can, and you'll have to repeat it to I him. I will be happy to repeat the question to Ken. Thank you. So uh, my my question my question is, uh, uh, isn't isn't it really important to success that I educate myself by reading uh, local newspapers? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what what would he recommend in terms of how much I should read in local newspapers? What I should read? How should I compare and contrast one newspaper against another? Uh, and how important is that to the success of my career and my personal success? So uh, he was asking if, what, 
what newspaper, you know, he's reading a lot of newspapers sure. and he wants to know how can he determine which one he should read, what he should take out of it, and how important is that to his career success? Yeah, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of media around town with different focuses, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, I, and I quite like a lot of what all of them are doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you follow Civil Beat, you're going to hear about government things, right. and the daily papers, general news, and the, the monthly magazines have that broader overview. Um, so, you know, you want to just keep track of which media is aligning with your interests and, uh, and telling you about the opportunities mm -hmm. uh, that, that uh, are, are meaningful to you. For PBN, uh, we, we do want to help businesses succeed and, mm -hmm. and make connections and make money. Uh, so, so many of the things that we have. Our flow, if, uh, how are we on time? Uh, the, uh, the breaking news online is to keep people apprised of what just happened. Mm -hmm. and then. The print product has evolved to be more analytical, to mm -hmm. tell our readers what it means mm -hmm. for that industry, for that business. Mm -hmm. uh, a little more analysis, historical perspective. So, so people would read our digital products for a slightly different reason mm -hmm. than they would read the, the print product. The All print right. product is a little more of a kickback on, mm -hmm. on the weekend or on your lunch break and, and spend more time with it. So how does that help somebody's career to read like PBN or other newspapers? Well, you know, if you're in business, uh, one thing you're okay. looking for are leads, okay. right? Okay. So when we announce a new business opening in a certain category, then the B2B folks that interact with that mm -hmm. business. So if we say, oh, new restaurant mm -hmm. opening Tuesday, yeah. or new restaurant signs lease, which is quite often a PBN way of breaking a story, is you know, a lot of advance notice that a restaurant's coming because we've reported on the lease. They right. may be months away from opening. So if you're a vendor, if you're a food supplier, mm -hmm. you know, hey, potential customer. Right. So and sorry so to interrupt. They can find each other. We're about the end of our show. It just <laughs> ran out. <laughs> that, that sorry, so but quickly. John, Thank why you. don't you end with your quote? Okay. Well, today's quote that we're going to share with you is from Henry Ford, and it says, "Whether you think you're right or you think you're not." You're right. <laughs> I like it. And we'd like to thank you for joining us on Keys to Success. Thank you so much, Cam, for My joining pleasure. us today. Thank you for it's an me absolute on. pleasure. Pacific Business News is a great, great business newspaper to read. We read it every week thank religiously you. and um, has a lot to share uh, regarding business here in Hawaii. Uh, my name is Danelia, D A N E L I A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Aloha. Thanks. Aloha.